welcome back to my channel. So happy to see all of my Disney peaches here today. And y'all, I am so excited to finally be able to put this video up. It has been a long time coming. And this video is especially for my friend Sam, Miss Samantha. This is for you. Um, I know you have been requesting this and I am so sorry it has taken me so long to get it up but it's finally here and um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, it's taken me a week to film this video just trying to do things and get it separated and filmed. It's a little bit of an undertaking, <laughs> but I'm so glad to finally have it here for you, and I do hope you'll enjoy it. These are pens that I have collected for years. I've been collecting pens, oh my gosh, oh, way before 2016. Um, oh my goodness, maybe 2012, 13 range. Is when I started, and um, it, it's just accumulated over time, and so um, I just really want to share all of that with you. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, and I actually am going to switch to my iPhone, so the volume might sound a little different, but um, yeah, I'm going to switch to my iPhone, and so that I can film it a lot easier, and um, yeah, if y'all ready. Let's go. Okay, this is the start of my Paris pens. I have three binders with Paris, and they're just random order, but this is the first one we're gonna start with. I love to use these Kaset uh, bags, just like a typical school bag, I guess. Um, but this is what I'll use for my pens that I have backer cards. And I love when I can to keep them on their backer card. And I use these uh, baseball uh, sleeves, like baseball card sleeves, um, to put them in. And this is Ultra Pro. I get these off of Amazon. They're super thick and nice. And I will put the link for this in the description, okay? Because I love them. I highly recommend this particular one. So, I think you'll be pleased with it. So, this first page is um, the Haunted Mansion. And I love these pens. They're absolutely beautiful. There is Minnie. Oh, and look at Daisy. She is darling. And y'all, these are actually in their plastic. Um, and I just slip them inside of there just to protect them. Absolutely love these. The backer cards are stunning. They're like the Haunted Mansion, uh, the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. Um, so I love these. And so then we got Goofy here. And I don't know who this fella is, but he looks gruesome, doesn't he? Love him. And then the actual manor. They call it Phantom Manor in Paris. But look at there. That's that same guy. He looks so spooky. And then I have Chippendale, which is amazing. And then um, on my next page... I have got the Halloween Winnie the Pooh. Um, he is adorable. There's Piglet. These are limited edition of 700. The shadows, look at Mickey. And look at me, she's so scared. And um, then down here, I have just two from 2022. Halloween pins, all Paris. And then I have Cheshire Cat and Lucifer. And I love this one of Pooh and Piglet. Vampire Pooh. Then you have Lilo and Stitch. This has a dangle element right there. Vampire Stitch. And I love these down here. Look at Pluto. And there's Vampire Donald and Vampire Mickey. These are from 2020, all three of these. So, a couple years ago. 
then I have my villains. These are several years old. Just beautiful. Love Ursula. Um, well, there's Ursula, number one. But I meant to say Maleficent. Look at Maleficent. Isn't she beautiful? So, so pretty. And then you've got the Evil Queen. Queen of Hearts. Jafar. And uh, the Captain Hook. I have my favorite villain in... Um, which is Cruella DeVille. I have her in my uh, page of her. And then these are just so beautiful. Um, these are more recent. I think these were from last year. Such beautiful, beautiful pens. Paris just outdoes themselves with pens every year. And then there's Ursula, Hades, I've got Jafar, uh, the old hag, evil queen, queen of hearts, and yeah, that's all of the Halloween for um, Disneyland Paris. And then I have my gorgeous Beauty and the Beast. So here, um, these were from, I got these last year. And then there is LE 700 of Belle and the Beast. I love the Beast in the Santa outfit. Uh, here is uh, Gaston and LeFou. These are all limited edition of 700. This one is LE 700 as well. There's a moving element in this one. Then I love these pens. Look at the scarf on the Mad Hatter. These are just open edition, but big and beautiful. And then I have Cheshire Cat down here. Love the hat. You see the sparkle? And then 101 Dalmatians. This is LE 700. This is LE 700. Just beautiful. And then I have cards that are bigger that won't fit in my baseball card sleeve. So um, these are more like from Walmart, and it's just like something big enough to hold a picture. So I have uh, Stitch as Lady, uh, what is her name? Madam Leota. And then I love this Stitch with the singing bus. And then here is Chip and Dale. Absolutely love it. This one is, uh, the next one is my bigger cards of the Winnie the Pooh from last year. Love this. This one is one of my favorites. Just beautiful. And then on the bigger cards for Christmas, I have a big Mickey and Minnie. And then this beautiful LE 700 of Beauty and the Bees. So this will be, I would imagine, a Happy New Year. Since it's got 2023 on it. And yeah, that's all of this book. So this is the second book of my Paris pens. And um, I wanted to show you, um, in here, it has like some folder spaces. And so I keep things that are... Um, you know, on a larger card, and that's, I love these cupcake pins, um, from Disneyland Paris, and I just love the striped background card, I love it. Okay, like, here are, um, the pins that I really love, too, from Paris. These are my Mickey and Minnie here on the first page. I love that Paris will do different pins, if you will, that are just adorable, so, this is like Mickey and Minnie in a plaid outfit. And I love the backer card. It's just so different. And, and then the uh, next one is uh, Minnie with her plaid. So, you can see them together. They're just beautiful. And I love that kind of thing. And so, here is a Mickey and a Minnie. Uh, this is really supposed to be Paris in the UK. And I just love those. And then here are like Dapper Day or Spring. Um, and these are beautiful as well. I just love these. Look at that. Just adorable. 
just precious. So love that. And then I also have the Mickey and the Minnie Alpha Tower. Um, I don't have the others. I just wanted Mickey and Minnie, um, and I like it on this page. These are my Minnie Mouse, um, if you will, sassy, um, chic, whatever you want to call them, Minnie Mouses. But she's really dolled up and usually has a big, beautiful bow um, in her outfit. So love this one. This one is cute with her pocketbook hanging. And then the bow, look how big it is. The plaid uh, or the gingham bow up there. I love this one too. I love the backer card. And this is my favorite one of her and the poodle. Just love it. I don't know if that's supposed to be Georgette or if that's just a random dog. This one is so cute. Uh, she's being so sassy, getting ready to kiss the Eiffel Tower. And this one I really like mostly just for the fact that it had the Eiffel Tower all over it. Just love this. The one. next page is more of a celebration page. So I have these from the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris. So adorable. And then, of course, that flows right into Disneyland Paris 30th. Look at this one with um, the um, fairy. These were both. There's one, and I forget which one's which. Fla Fauna, Flora, and Merryweather. I know Merryweather's the blue. And then coming down here, look how adorable these are. All for the 30th. These are limited edition of 700. All of these right here. These here also just beautiful. And I absolutely love these. They're all limited edition of 500. Look at that one. I love that one of Pascal. This one is supposed to be Little Mermaid. Um, Ursula. And then coming down here. 30 years, another beautiful pen, LE 700. These are just open edition. There's Scrooge McDuck, is it? I'm not sure. And this is just a castle pen from Paris. Another page that I absolutely love is my Tinkerbell page. Um, I literally only collect Paris Tinkerbell. <laughs> but they are stunning, y'all. These pens are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, honestly. Um, absolutely love this one. So beautiful. These are just gorgeous as well. I mean, it's just stunning. Love these. But my absolute favorite are these. These are my... Tinkerbells that I absolutely love. They're, the backer card, number one, is hot pink and has the design on it. And, y'all, there she is in a swing. She's with a palm tree. She's on a set of pearls. And she is on a golden pineapple. But these pins are just absolutely stunning. Love them so, so much. But, yeah, love my Tinkerbell pens. Oh, and I did, I do have one from the U.S. I did like this series from the Disney Employee Center. You can see that right up there. Um, and it's classy and sassy. And there's actually a series of these. And I want to get more. And I just keep forgetting about it. Look at her sparkly wings. Look at her rosy cheeks. I love this series. There's one that says something about pixie dust, and I really want to get it because of my name. So, love that one. Then I have, this is from several years ago, probably around uh, 17, 18, 19, somewhere in that range. Um, and Miss Karen from Karen's USA Adventure picked this up for me, or these. Look at the sparkle in their dresses. Oh, she did get, oh, it's 2018. So I got these at the same time as that medallion. But look at beautiful Ariel. I wish Couture de Force would do an Ariel in her gown like that. Uh, Snow White. 
Look at Jasmine, Aurora, she's beautiful. And then there's a three pin set of this. I have two, I'm missing Aurora. But this is Ariel, I have Belle on the Belle page, but I don't have Aurora, but I love it. Beautiful. Now this is a series, oh my goodness. I forget the name of it, but essentially what it is, is Mickey Mouse is invading these movies and is in there as a character. So these are all limited edition of 425. And here you see Mickey as Dopey with Snow White and it's from 1937. You have uh, Mickey as Pinocchio in 1940. You have him here, I forget who that was, trying the slipper on uh, Cinderella, 1950. He's here as the Mad Hatter um, in 1951. Then he's flying as, which one was that, John, in 1953 for Peter Pan. Um, he's here with Ariel in 1989. Uh, then he is, I guess, Lilo in 1999. And so what's amazing uh, for these is two of these have been signed by the artist. And my friend Karen was so gracious to get that for me. This one of Ariel is signed and then this one of stitch um is signed also so absolutely love those and then the last page in this book i have the pen trading day 2018 of pascal love that le 500 i have um le 700 queen of hearts I have Peter Pan's Flight, LE 700, and I have LE 400, Pen Trading Day, Disneyland Paris. So, absolutely love those Okay, two. so, um, back here in the last book, um, I've got a Peter Pan's Flight board or backer card with all four pieces. Um, I have The Little Mermaid. These were from years ago, and I think that's all I got in there, but <clears throat> love that. Okay, the first page of the last book for my Paris pens, I have the beautiful set from Paris of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and I love these, y'all. Look at these up close. They're just absolutely beautiful. Um, you can just see how gorgeous they are. Such beautiful, large pens. Just stunning. I love them. <clears throat> but here is Snow White, and then we have all of the dwarfs. I love the backer cards. They're just beautiful. There's Dobby. And then moving on, I have uh, the series or the set from It's a Small World. Stitch and Goofy, and I love the clock face. Love that backer card also. Then I have the Rapunzel set. That's really the most recent release. Look at the Lantern with Pascal, and I love Pascal. And then down here is Big Thunder Mountain. Love these. I just traded for this one. So now I've got them. I think I have them all. Love these. And then, <clears throat> I think that's an empty page. Then I have uh, my Little Mermaid ones. I have the ones that I purchased first. So this one is from several years, several years ago. And there's Eric and Ariel. Flounder. There's Ariel again. Sebastian. And this is the most current release from Ariel. From Paris, isn't that stunning? Just gorgeous. And then I love that one also. And then her with flounder. So, love my aerials. Here are my Peter Pans. Oh, these are just so beautiful. Him with the headdress, the kids. There's Wendy. Now, I got these two pins because I love the backer card. 
If you know me, you know I love Paisley print, and this is absolutely beautiful. Love this one of the clock face. Isn't that gorgeous? And then um, this one also is just stunning. I love it. Nana has, the Nanas that I had have been moved to my pets book. So you will see those there. Here are some Dalmatians. Um, I kept these in here just because I want them on the backer card. And I love the backer cards on these. Um, here's the one with the telephone booth. I just love it. It reminds me of that booth in Epcot. <laughs> I just love this. The backer cards are, just, again, just beautiful. There's a big one there. Look at Corella on the front of the paper. Um, here is the heart. And then I have the Aristocats. And they are precious also. And look at Marie with her little siblings there. Just love it. And I have the Tower of Terror pins from uh, Paris. Just beautiful. Love Chip and Dale. I love that dangle right there. There is Goofy, Stitch, and Tower of Terror. Look at Daisy. Is she not adorable? She's got that little key. Look at her eyelashes. I love this one. And then this one I love, too. For the longest, I thought it was Mickey Mouse. But it's Minnie. Look at her eyelashes. Look at her heels. And then she has an out-of-order sign. Just precious. And then I have Daisy from Pirates of the Caribbean and Minnie Mouse. Here is my Cinderella pins. These are the first releases. And there's Lucifer. There's Jacques and Gus. The carriage, I love that. Then we got the newer pins. Here is Lucifer, uh, the newer one. Uh, again, here is Cinderella in her, I don't know if you want to call it her common clothes or whatever, but I love that the birds have her apron strings. And then here she is in her, her ball gown. There's Bruno, and look at her there, so beautiful, just gorgeous, love it. Then I have a Cheshire and a Mad Hatter, just beautiful. And then back here are my bigger cards. Um, I've got one from the Little Mermaid, so we've got Flounder and Sebastian. This is a two pin set on a larger card that came with the pins from uh, it's a small world. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? I love these. And then the next page, I've got Queen of Hearts. The Cheshires. Love this one of Alice. Isn't that beautiful? Such a huge pen. And then Alice and the White Rabbit. And then I have my Peter Pan larger Peter Pan. Y'all, this is all one pin. It's all connected. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I've got a limited edition of 700 of St. Patrick's with Cheshire for 2022. There's the Mad Hatter again. And I love the White Rabbit. So that's the last book. Okay, this is the last of my Paris pins. I don't have these on board yet or in a book. These are a little bit larger. Y'all, I absolutely love the train. It's the Euro Disney Railroads. And these are all limited edition of 700. So beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just stunning. Look at Donald. I love it. And then there's Chip and Dale. And I do have uh, the pieces that go with it. Um, this is Mickey as, I guess, the conductor. And this is like a pocket watch. Um, here's one of the railroad sign. This looks like the clock that was inside of a, a train station. 
And then this is a first class passage ticket. Love it. And then y'all, I just love that set. And then I also have these kite series. I have got Mary Poppins. It is just beautiful with the dangles. Look at her bag and the kite. And I have also Alice. Look at Cheshire as the cat as the kite. So beautiful. Love those. And then y'all, this is from Halloween 2022. Um, it's limited edition of 700. This is the box. Y'all, look at this gorgeous pen. It's all one pen. And you have all the characters down here with their spooky shadows in the background. I just love this pen. It's huge. Love it. And then all of this came from Enchanted Mysteries. So, y'all, if you don't have a box, you need to get one. Um, and then, um, here is a beautiful jumbo. Um, and it is, I'm going to get closer for you can see it. Um, it is the three fairies and the castle. Is that not beautiful? And then you just have the date on it down here. Just, this was part of the 30th anniversary this is part of the 30th anniversary. This is the box that it um, box lid. It's LE 700 also. But y'all, it is stunning. Look at that. Just beautiful. Try not to get a glare with that bottom part, but I just love it. Okay, here is another book that I absolutely love. I'm just so into these pens from Pink Hollow Mode, Pen of Palooza right now, all 100% Disney authentic pens. And y'all, um, I love this book that I got from Go Pen Pro. It's a Go Pen Pro show, but it's like a a mega one. It's a really big book and I love it. It's perfect for my bigger three inch pens and oh, I'm so glad I got it. So you can unzip <clears throat> and open the sleeve on the front and pull out your board. So here's the first page. I actually have the pen that goes here in a frame in my background um, in my Disney room. So, uh, but I love Belle. Look how stunning that is. I, I try to collect every single thing I can get my hands on with Belle. These are from Acme. Those top two were from Pink Hollow Mode. This is from Acme. Just beautiful. LE300. I call this one Botox Belle because look at her lips. <laughs> I always say she had Botox. But anyway, I just think that's funny. And this is Acme also, um, limited edition of 300. It is just a beautiful, different representation of Belle. And I like different sometimes. And I love that. This one is from Pink Hollow Mode. Love it so much. My friend Pam sent that to me. And then I've got this off pink all mode. These are all LE 300. You see the little bubble. Um, it has the rose in it. And then the one of Gaston. And it has LeFou in it, the bubble. So absolutely love my bell pens. I wanna show you what I'm doing. Um, these pages have inside the book, have a place to be you know, kept, um, but I always have the plastic on it uh, just for that added protection. So I'm taking them out of the book and out of the plastic so I can show you um, without the plastic on it. But this is my Ariel collection from, you know, uh, well, my Ariel collection, period. <laughs> uh, but this one is the beautiful, it's almost like Vanguard, you know what I mean? kind of feel and I just love it. It's Acme and it's like the bell when I showed you. And then this gorgeous Ariel with flounder, pink all the mode. These are all limited edition, 300. This one of Ariel is stunning. And this is from Ryan over at Disney Pins blog. Um, it's all Disney copyrighted. Another one from Ryan at Disney Pins blog. 
And then this gorgeous pen, look at that. It is just stunning. I love that pen. Let me see who that pen is by. Oh, it's, uh, who is that by? It has a crown, it's LE500. Um, I'm not sure where I got that. I don't know if it's um, one of Frank's, but it is beautiful. Frank at Penapalooza. And then my friend Pam, look at the sparkle. She sent me this one of Ariel and Eric. And then this one of Flounder and Ariel. And then these are definitely from Frank uh, at Penapalooza. And there are two different variants of Ariel. One is silver, one is um, gold. And you could just see the different glitter embellishments on each. Just love it. But love, love my Ariel page. I have my small collection of Aurora. Again, I have Aurora from that same series that I showed you of the other two princesses. And then I have Aurora from Pink All Mode. Again, all LE 300. And then this one is from Pink All Mode. And then this one is actually from Shop Disney in the parks. This is uh, my New Year's Day pin. One of them from, what is that? Let me pull it off and see. It is 2019. But y'all, isn't it gorgeous? Look at the sparkle. Look at the beautiful couple. And it gives you Happy New Year 2019 in there. Just stunning. Love this pen. Okay, Love. now I have my small page of Rapunzel. Again, this one is from Pink Alla Mode. This gorgeous pen is from Frank at Penapalooza. Look how amazing this pen is. The beautiful tower, the frame going around it. This is the color gold I like. The real bright and light gold. Just beautiful. And then I've got the gorgeous pen of Rapunzel that is a frame portrait. Look how beautiful the frame is. Just stunning. And then these are from Frank also. These are two of Frank's exclusives. They're variants, two different variants, one of a green Pascal and one of an orange Pascal. And these were actually made um, with Neon Tuesday. And Frank does a lot of collaborations with them. And so just an amazing set there. So I love my Rapunzel pen. Okay, so this page, oh my goodness, I absolutely love. I have these four pens from Penapalooza. It's an exclusive to Frank there. And y'all, they're absolutely stunning. Um, Ariel, look at that. Absolutely beautiful frame. Um, Briar Rose with Maleficent in the background. Ursula's in the background of Ariel. And then you have uh, Snow White with the Evil Queen. You have Tiana with Dr. Facilier. All LE 300 and all Disney copyrighted. And so they're stunning. This is the latest, um, one of the latest releases of mystery pins from Pink Alla Mode. And these are actually LE 500, I believe. And just beautiful. Each princess has got their villain. So there's Cinderella and Lady Tremaine, Snow White, the Evil Queen, Jasmine and Jafar. I've got Belle, but I need Gaston. I've got Maleficent, but I need Aurora. And I have Ursula and need Ariel. And I think I've just traded for Ariel, so I'm happy about that. But absolutely love this page. Okay, y'all, this is the last page in this particular book. And I've split it between two princesses because um, I don't have very much of either one. But y'all, look how gorgeous Jasmine is. Look at the swirling in the background. Just a beautiful pen. This is Pink Alamode, LE 300. 
And then I love this little pen. It was from Shop Disney. And I just think it's beautiful. I had to have it. And then over here is my small little Snow White collection. And you can see there is Snow White. That's an Acme LE 300. And then Acme again, and it's that beautiful art that um, I have of the other princesses, but just love it. So yeah, these are uh, the last of my princesses almost. The very last princess that I wanna share with you on this page on the back is Cinderella. Again, I have a beautiful Acme uh, pen of her. And then this gorgeous pen is from Pink Isle Mode. It's Jacques and Gus. Look at the glitter, look at all of the swirling, just beautiful. And then coming on down here is one that I got off Shop Disney and it is the Valentine's Day and then it's Cinderella and uh, Prince Charming. And I love all of the glitter embellishments. And then I have the other uh, Happy New Year's for uh, the Disney World. And it is 2019, and it's Cinderella and Prince Charming again. Hey, okay, y'all. This is one of my favorite collections right now. Um, I'm so into the Disney pins from Pink Isle Mode. They're 100% Disney, um, and they're gorgeous. These are um, stained glass pins. They're all limited edition of 300. And I was wanting to collect all of the princesses and their prints. And I only have one more to go and I'll have them all that I wanted to collect. Um, here you can see I have got Belle and Adam together. I've got Ariel and Eric. And we have Snow White and Prince Florian. And then we have the beautiful uh, Aurora and Prince Philip. Just gorgeous. And y'all, I really wanna get a, like a shadow box and get all of them in there together when I get them all and display them that way. But here is the other side. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. We've got Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. Tiana and Naveen, Cinderella and Prince Charming, and then we've got Mulan, and is that Lee Shang or Shang Lee? I can't remember how it goes, but they're beautiful. Just love these pens. Now, I had to go on to a second board to get Jasmine and Aladdin. But this is Jasmine and Aladdin, and they're so beautiful together. The only ones I'm missing are Pocahontas, and is it John Smith? And I will have every couple that I set out to get. So I'll be getting that soon, surely. <laughs> but love these. Also, I'm trying to collect all of the stained glass villains from Pink Hollow Mode. They're LE 300 and they are stained glass as well. So right now I just have Cruella de Vil, Captain Hook, Gaston, Lady Tremaine, and Mother Gothel. So I still have quite a few to get to finish this uh, set, but I am looking forward to it because they're absolutely beautiful. So Y'all, um, on a board that I have separate, it's just like a board from um, GoPin Pro, but it is um, my Elsa collection. And it's small. I've just started it, but I love Elsa. I don't collect any others. I might collect Sven in my pet book, but I love Elsa. And so here is a Pink Isle Mode exclusive LE300. Look at all the beautiful sparkle in the background. And she is just beautiful. I have the Very Merry Christmas Party pin. Um, I was there for that. And I got Elsa. You'll see the rest of those in my Christmas book. And then some beautiful, these are all Paris. This is Paris and this is Paris. 
Love those. And of course, the kite one. You've seen the others. These are from Paris also. And she is just stunning in this one. I love it. But absolutely love my Elsa page. Another little tiny board that I have with a few pins on is my little parts of the Caribbean. And it's very small, as you can see. Love the ones. I picked this one and this one up last, um, last December when I went. And then I traded for this one. I want to get all of those. But love this. This one um, actually uh, comes out. It closes with a magnet. And I just love my little collection. Hey, y'all. The next book I have has some villains in it and some Nightmare Before Christmas. And I just love this page because it's dedicated to my favorite villain of Cruella de Vil. A lot, well, most of these are limited edition. And I just love them. Love this one. Um, love the sparkle in her dress. Her little handbag is precious. And then love this one. It's limited edition. So is this one. Love the little jewel on her ring. This one is Ellie a thousand, I know. And then the bolo uh, is a cast member's pen. It's usually, bolos are usually really hard to get and can be expensive. So I was so thrilled to get this one of Corella DeVille. And then this is just a little open edition pen from uh, the parks. This down here is Paris. And I absolutely love this one of Corella DeVille. Got that in my Enchanted Mysteries box. This is Acme um, or Artland, one of the two. It's limited edition and it's huge. This little chaser pen which I love, is from Pink a la Mode, but I don't have the original pen, so I've got to get it. <laughs> and then this is Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. This is Pink a la Mode stained glass. I have two of these. One in my Cruella collection and one in the stained glass collection. This is from the parks. This one is down here is uh, Paris. Love her laying out like that. This one right here, I just think the colors are beautiful. And then I have the uh, Windows of Evil of Cruella. Just beautiful. So, love this first page are some more villains. These are from Pink a la Mode. Look at just the beautiful glitter in them. Just beautiful. Look at uh, Ursula's hair. Maleficent. You can just see the glitter on her up here. Just beautiful. And then I have the Evil Queen. And this is a pin from the Stitch Shop at Loungefly when I bought a villain's bag from them. And this pin and this pin are from Pink a la Mode. They're limited edition, I think, at 500. Just beautiful. And then this one is um, an Acme or an Artland. Just beautiful. And then I have a mystery set here. Um, and this is the stained glass mystery pens. I actually have the whole set. I just haven't gotten the other two. I'm doing a video on them, and I haven't done that yet. So I've got these four. Love Corella. She is just beautiful. And Maleficent is too. I'm thinking Maleficent is now my second favorite villain. And then this is from Pink a la Mode also. And it is Ursula. So love this page. So the next page I have are the few pins I have of my, of my Nightmare Before Christmas. I had a larger collection and decided to downsize it. I don't really actively collect Nightmare Before Christmas pins any longer, but these are the few that I wanted to keep. And I, it took me a while to get this set together, but this set is 100% completed. Um, 
and I cannot for the life of me remember um, what the name of this series is. But they're so pretty. There's some more down here. Just beautiful. Sometimes I wonder if one version is Disney World, one version is Disneyland. I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below, actually. And then I have the stretching portraits, but it has Nightmare Before Christmas in them. So I got those at the park years ago. This is a pen that I love. It is, I believe this is, um, it's either WDI or Disney Soda Fountain Shop. I guess I could look. It is Disney Studio Studio Store Hollywood, and it's LE300, and it is for the celebration, the 25th celebration of Nightmare Before Christmas. So, love that pen. It's huge. That's a huge pen. And then I love the box that opens up. And I love Scary Teddy. I love the black and white aesthetic of Nightmare Before Christmas. These two are Paris. Love those. But I keep them here because they're Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this train set. I have, I, I still need a couple and I'll have it completed. But love Jack on the train. I love that. And then I love Scary Teddy back here at the end. And then I love Pumpkin King. Love this pen. And then this is Paris of Zero. So, love my Nightmare Before Christmas. Here's another book that is from Go Pen Pro. Um, I just love their books. I can't say enough about them. These are the newer ones, and they're just fabulous. But, um, yeah, I think this is my Beauty and the Beast collection. Okay, yeah, I was right. Beauty and the Beast. Um, I have a lot of stuff on their backer cards in here. Um, the Beauty and the Beast marquee is just beautiful. I love the WDI Dancing Princesses, and it is gorgeous. Um... The Silhouette of Belle. This is from the Stunning Silhouette. I got this off Shop Disney. It was the first in the series, and she is beautiful. This is um, the Pearl Medallion. I think this is Disney Shopping. It's like LE 125. It is beautiful, of Belle. And then this is the, I forget what the series was from Shop Disney, but this turns over to the transformation scene. And this is a box set that was from Shop Disney. It was called The Art of Belle. And look at Beast, he looks awesome there. And coming down here is a really big jumbo pen. This is Disneyland Paris. And I ordered this straight from the Disney store there, and uh, or their Shop Disney. And it cost me a little fortune to ship it to me, but I had to have it and it's absolutely stunning. This is WDI. It is the cluster of Beauty and the Beast. Just beautiful. And then probably my most expensive pen I own is this pen of Belle. And this is the WDI profile of Belle. She is absolutely beautiful. So I love this first page so much. The next page is a little section that I have. No, I'm trying to make it nothing but Belle in her yellow dress. But um, I'm going to start up here. This pen is beautiful. This is from my pen, uh, my friend, uh, the Chocolate Mini. And she had these created and made. She does pens. She does all type of merchandise. And she has a beautiful message with her pens. She does different types of skin tones. And she sent me this one because she knows I love Belle. And this is just beautiful. And so I will put her a uh, link down below. So definitely go check her out. She is amazing. And then I traded for this beauty. It was actually a two pen set from Shop Disney, but I only wanted the Belle pen. So I think I have the other piece of my traders. And then this one is actually Disneyland Paris. 
It's limited edition. This is uh, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris. This is from our parks, from our parks. And this is Paris. And I have an uh, aerial one like this. And the only one I'm missing is Aurora. There's only three pins in this series. And then up here I have um, my pins of Belle and her blue dress. That's the only two I have but I really want more. So I'm trying to do blue and white on one side and the yellow on the other side, but it's a work in progress. Okay, so the next page I'm gonna share with you are my mystery pens. These were in a reveal conceal package from the parks. And you saw the one on the front through the window, but the one inside was in a bag and you had to open it. And you're, you're just trying to complete the set. So you have their transformation. So you have them in a human form and then their transformation form. So you have the Enchantress and she has the old hag. You've got Adam and the Beast, Mrs. Potts in both versions. There's Chip. And then you've got Lumiere, Fifi, the duster. Um, you have the footstool. You have Cogsworth. So I've always absolutely loved this set. It's just beautiful. It is complete. And then I just have a small collection of Gaston. That is the uh, Disney Store Cutie of Gaston. And then this is from the parks. And I think it was on Shop Disney too. And then I love this pen. It just looks like Gaston. And okay, so this page is just all limited edition or limited release. And they're just random. Um, over here, I got these when I was at the park in 2016. That's a slider. His arm moves, his arm moves. This is Father's Day. This is Ter Saratoga Springs 2019. That really should be in my Christmas thing. This is from the Christmas, Mer Very Merry Christmas Party 2016. Here's the Yacht Club at Christmas. Uh, Fifi, that's limited edition. This is Christmas Day. Happy Holidays 2018. Here's the pop-up book. Isn't that gorgeous? Flower and Garden, the VHS. Um, I need bail of this also. I still need to get that. Here's the gaming one of Beauty and the Beast, the key. Um, I think this is a photo ball um, for like all of the pins from the years. Uh, this one of the mirror with Belle, Beast is on the other side. Pen trading nights. Love the teacup and the teapot. And then down here is my bell and the rose gold. I love this. Look at this. It just comes up and it's magnetic. But I like to leave it open so I can see bell. This is Paris, best friends, limited edition. This is Paris, limited edition. This is Paris, limited edition, 2013. This is Paris, Christmas pin of Cogsworth, Cogsworth, but it's just open edition. This is a limited edition, Paris. And I think this is like Hong Kong or Tokyo or something like that. But yeah, absolutely love this page. Okay, this page is like some sets, mystery sets. Um, from Beauty and the Beast, and this one is complete. And I was so thrilled when I finally completed it. Just beautiful, love that set. I do have these that I'm working on, but I only have three, sadly. <laughs> I need three more, I think, and I'll be done. And then I need three more of this set, and I'll be done. Sometimes I forget about them, you know, because they're in a book. And so I have the spots left for the three that I need, but love my little sets of Beauty and the Beast. Here's another page that I love. Um, these I'm trying to collect. I have three. I purchased the first one, and then I got the other two in a trade from my friend Alicia. 
She's a doll, and I just love these. Um, and I'm looking to get the rest that came out with this. This is from Leisha, also in a trade. This is the Heroes and Villains. Y'all, I gotta take it off and show it to you. It's beautiful. Look at this. So, this is, uh, I guess, the hero side. And then the other side is the villain. And there's Gaston with the mirror. And I just love it, y'all. It's beautiful. Love the frame. Such a beautiful pen. And then I have this set that was a box set from Shop Disney. Um, I wanted it for this very reason. I think she's beautiful in this version of her. And she's holding Lumiere. And this came in it. And this came in it. So I love this set. I have a footstool, and this is Beauty and the Beast and Belle Cutie from Paris. So yeah, I love this page. Okay, so here is a whole Disneyland Paris of Beauty and the Beast page. Um, up here at the top, I have the very first ones that I ever got, and they're on the yellow backer card, and they're just so beautiful. Love these. And then the backer cards tended to change, you can see. Love this one of Cogsworth. It's one of my favorites. And then these of Beast and Belle and Gaston. Look how big and just gorgeous they are. Just beautiful. Love these so much. And then I have some that are a little bit sideways just so they'd fit. And this was on the big yellow backer card like this, um, but I took them off because obviously that card wouldn't fit and I just put them all together here. But love this, love this page so, so much. Okay, another page and the last page that I have in my Beauty and the Beast book is some just little open edition pens that I like to keep. I love this heart of Belle and Beast and yeah, just some really pretty pens that I like. This one is supposed to have tassels, but um, they have fallen off over the years. This one is one of my major favorites back here. I just think this is stunning. And then there's a mini as Belle. And then here I just have a couple more. You probably hear my little dog walking around. Love these. And then I also have a collection of the rose. And this one right here is fantasy. Um, it's from the Kate shop, but absolutely love the roses. So yeah, this is the last page in my Beauty and the Beast book. Oh, I have another book and I believe this is my pet collections. Okay, this first page, oh, you know I love it. It is my Marie collection. And y'all, I just adore these. Here she is coming out of a pumpkin. This is Hong Kong or Tokyo. It's the key. Um, this is a trifold, just beautiful. Uh, Paris, Paris, Paris. Paris, this is Artland. This is Paris, Paris. This is from here with the macaroons. Uh, I'm not sure where that one's from. This is from a mystery set here. This is from the parks. I said, this is Paris. This is Paris. I'm not sure. And this is from here. Oh, I love this one. Is that not just adorable? And then this one uh, is from Disney Soda Fountain Shop or Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Um, it's just an open edition. But y'all, I love my Marie collection. It is so beautiful. Love it. Okay, here are some more little collections. I kind of have them divided up. Here is my lady collection. Yes, I like to collect lady by herself. Um... And this is the small collection I have of that. Just love it. I love to collect Nana. 
And some of my Paris pens of Nana are in here. And so I think that's Paris and I think maybe that one or this one, I can't remember. But um, this one is definitely from our parts here. It's limited edition. That was for the anniversary of Peter Pan. And then this is from a, a pen event. It's from several years ago. So love that. And then I'm a huge fan of Georgette. I only have three little pens of Georgette, but this one is my favorite. She's just beautiful. And then I have Max. I love Max. I don't have a lot of Max, but I want to grow that collection. But it is beautiful. I love him. And here is a page in progress. Um, I love Pascal and I love Maximus. And this pen is from Pink Ola Mode. Just beautiful. You see Pascal on his saddle. I want to grow more of them. One of my total favorite cats is Mittens from Bolt. And this is sadly the only one I have, but I definitely want more of Mittens. So love that. And then of course I do love Figaro. And I have, I think all of these are Paris, but absolutely love them. So I've got some work to do um, to say the least, but love this page. Okay. so. I don't have a lot in this book for my pet, so I'm kind of sharing the space with some other things. And these are my mystery pen sets um, that I've collected over the years. Um, some are older than others, but I absolutely love this first set of the Nutcrackers. And you can see it is a complete set. So you can see all of the ones from this set. Love them. And then down here, I have um, the uh, pajama set. And this was just so popular back at Christmas time when it came out. This was from several years ago. But this set is complete. And then this set is complete also. This is the uh, gingerbread set. And again, it is 100% complete. Love that. And then one of my favorites is from this past year, and it is the beautiful ornaments with the characters. Oh, I love it. So I absolutely love these sets that um, I have completed. Here are two more Christmas sets on the back of the page. And I love this set here at the top. It's just so sweet. But it is 100% completed. And then I have my Muppets. Y'all, I love the Muppet uh, set that was released. But sadly, I'm missing three, I think. So I do want to finish it. But love that set. So here is another uh, Christmas puzzle set from last year and I'm so happy I completed it and it is the Small World um, series and look at how darling these is. Of course my favorite is the clock face. So pretty. This page in this book is one of my favorites and it is my Monster Inc. and Monster University collection. Look at Mike and Sully. This is from the pen event of One Family, and it's a puzzle that goes together. Then I have a Happy Holidays. There's Mike. There they are together for Christmas. And this one, I think, was uh, had come out at Valentine's Day. And then I have some Monster University. This, these four were on a backer card, and so were these but just love them. So that's my small little uh, Monster University in Ink collection. Okay, the next book I have is gonna start my Toy Story collection. And you can see I took this off one of my lanyards and just put it like a little charm kind of thing on here. And cause y'all, this bag is huge. It's a huge bag and I love it. It is 
from Go Pen Pro, and it's their Elite uh, Pen Folio. And y'all, this thing is amazing. You wait, you okay, see. So this is the first page of my Toy Story collection. And y'all, I love it so much. This is like a huge grail page for me. And um, I'm gonna start off here with the DEC, um, Disney Employee Center pens. And these are the clusters for Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2. Love that copper background. Toy Story 3, look at Lotso, and Toy Story 4. Love these. Limited edition of like 300, just beautiful. And then I have the DEC Buzz and Woody. And then I have the Cutie from Disney uh, Soda Fountain Shop. I believe that's what it was back then. The Pen Trading Knights of, of Paris. And then this is Disney um, Shopping. And I love this one in the car, the gangs in the car. And y'all, here comes some total grails. Here's my profile of Woody, Jesse, and uh, Buzz. And these are WDI, Walt Disney Imagineering. And then I also have two of the Alien Saucers from WDI. I gotta get two more. Um, to complete that. And then I got Bullseye, WDI. And y'all, this is one of my holiest grails that I own. This is limited edition of 100. It's incredibly hard to find and terribly expensive. And it's a two pin set of Woody dancing and then Jesse on Bullseye. But on the back of card is the record player, and it's from the Japan Mall. And y'all, it is amazing. I got that for Christmas, was it last year? Or maybe the year before? And then this is a Disney Auctions. It's kind of like the same thing, except the record player is part of the pen. So, absolutely love these. Y'all, this is like just a grail page for me for Toy Story. I just love it. Okay, y'all, here is another uh, page. And I have all of my Toy Story 4 from Disney uh, Store, how did they say it? Disney Studio Store Hollywood. I always forget how to say that. And um, it's the marquee, it's the block, and then the other pins that were released during that, um, uh, release and then these are just beautiful and I love the backer cards just lovely and this book is amazing I can actually fit these huge backer cards with their pens on one page and still have room left over this is another set that I am so thrilled to have it is complete and it is my Midway Mania, and this is a Walt Disney Imagineering uh, set also. And so you could see those, Woody, Jesse, Buzz, Aliens, Ham, Rex. Love this, love it. And then this is from Walt Disney Imagineering also. These were mystery pins. I think these were from Disneyland, and I just wanted the Woody and the Buzz from that, but love those. Love, love this page. Okay, some more pens that are really just grails for me is this series from Disney Auctions, and it is the Racing Series. And to start it off, we've got Buzz, um, not Buzz, but Woody and Bullseye. Now we've got Buzz and RC, and they're all on their original backer cards. The Green Aliens and the Pixar Ball. And then there's Jesse. Coming down here, we've got Ham and Rex. And then the last one in that series is Slinky Dog and Wheezy. And then this is another Disney Auctions that I love. And I just put it here because I thought it looked good with it. But it is Rex hauling our friends um, the game 
and it's just so pretty. Love this pen. But yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, here's another page. I do have a couple of more of Disney auctions over here. You've got Stitch with uh, Woody, Jesse, and Buzz. And that, is this Astro Blasters? I'm not sure what that is, but it's Disney Auction. This was a framed set from, I got it off Shop Disney, and um, it is for the 25th anniversary of Toy Story. So you got Toy Story 1, 2, 3, 4. I just wanted it with the rest of my pens. So I took it out of the frame. <laughs> and then I've got the marquees. You've already seen Toy Story 4 marquee. Here's one and two. One and two. And then you have three. And these are beautiful. And this set is from um, D23. And it is the Toy Story 3 release. And y'all, these are LE100. And they're so beautiful. Uh, this one, I just like the colors on it, and um, it is uh, LE 500. And then coming over here, I've got some more Toy Story 3 releases. It seems like they released a lot for Toy Story 3. Love this. Here's another little marquee. This is from the Best Animated Feature. This is Toy Story 3. And y'all, these pens right here are amazing. They're limited edition of a hundred and they open up. There's Woody, there's Buzz, and there's Zerg. This is from my friend Frank at Pinapalooza. It's gorgeous. It is Toy Story and you can see Woody and Buzz right here at the bottom with the shooting star. So pretty. And this is D23 um, Expo 2019. So, yeah, love this page. Okay, this page is a little bare. I, I still have plenty of room to put stuff on it. But so far, all I have are my Toy Story Pixar um, pens. And I've got, uh, this is from Toy Story 3. I don't know if I just said that. But here's three for Toy Story 3. This is Woody's belt buckle. This is Jesse, Ham, and Rex. And I think I'm missing two more. But um, if you guys have been in pen collecting for a while, you'll know um, these pens and how hard they are to get. But Pixar Studio Store, love that. And then I have two Pen Trader Delights, Woody and Buzz. So yeah, I got a lot to put on this page. Okay, y'all, I have another book. This is my second book of Toy Story. And um, here, this first page is, a lot of this is dedicated to the opening of Toy Story Land. And Meech and I were there. But this whole first uh, set here on these beautiful backer cards were actually from Box Lunch. And they actually had... Hollywood Studios on the back as well. So it is definitely a Disney pin, but it was a set dedicated for the opening of Toy Story Land. So love these. This one was actually, you see how the backer card is different? This one was actually from the park. We got there, got it that day, and it's Toy Story Land. I played there, and it opens up, and there's Woody and Buzz. And these are more... I played their pens. This is from uh, Movie Rewards, and it's from 2018. Um, my friend Pam sent me this of Jesse. I love it. It's a nutcracker, so I had to add it to my collection. This is Lounge Fly of Buzz. Here are more pens from uh, that day. So pretty. And then these are pens from, uh, is that Hong Kong? Um, I can't read it up close. No, it's Shanghai. So, um, I've been able to find these and I absolutely love them. And I've got Buzz, Woody, and Lotso. So, I'm trying to find any that go with this set that are from Toy Story. I know there's more from other movies, but I'm just looking for the Toy Story ones. But I love that. So, love this page. Okay, another page in my book are some mystery sets. Um, 
This was a set that was released. The block set was re was released um, the day the Toy Story Land opened. And I bought several there, but I had to buy some others and trade for others. But finally completed the set. But just love that. This was a set from Box Lunch. And it's complete also. This was the Chaser. So pretty. This set is complete. This is from the Parks. Love that. This is uh, Toys for Tots, and I forget what year it was, but love that. This is from, uh, it was Disney Soda Fountain Shop. Love that. Here's another page. Um, so most of these are on their backer cards. Look at this beautiful Toy Story, Pixar Toy Story 3, 10th anniversary pin. Love the glitter embellishment. So pretty. Here's the gaming one for Toy Story. Um, the key for Toy Story. Um, here's just a open edition Pixar pin that I just love. This was Disney Visa Rewards. Love that. Another cute little pin. Lots of... And then I love this, Owl's Toy Barn. I love this pen. I had to leave it on the backer card. It just didn't seem the same if you don't. But love this set. Love this whole set of Toy Story pens. Okay, here's another page. It just has some random things. Let me go ahead and show you this because I'm holding the page straight up and down. It won't stay up. But this is a Loungefly pen. And it's got Rex and Woody and Buzz. and But it slides up and down. So when I let it go, more it's going to fall down before I finish, I know. But um, here is a Vinylmation. A, a jumbo vinylmation of Woody. I want to get the buzz to go with it, but I haven't done so yet. Here is a Kate Shop pen, and I love that. Uh, here's the buzz. This one I love. This is actually from Cars Land at Disneyland, and it's cars dressed up like Woody, Buzz, and Hal. I love it. And then here I just have some random pens. Um, here's a 1995 movie reel pen. Pizza Planet. Love these cone ones. So cute. And y'all, these here are some of my favorite pens. These are from, I think, Hong Kong. But y'all, they are glittery and I love them. They're airplane pens. And um, I want to get, there's still one of the green aliens. And I'm trying to find it. So, if y'all see that anywhere, let me know. <laughs> but, love that. So, yeah, I got a lot of room to fill in here, but love these. Okay, this is what I like to call my green alien page. Not that you won't see green aliens anywhere else, but I have uh, accumulated a lot here. This was a mystery set. I think this was from Box Lunch, maybe. But, um, anyway, they are adorable. I know y'all remember these. And then uh, uh, a lot of these are from like Tokyo or Hong Kong. This was a Christmas pen. Um, and this is like Hot Topic. This was on a little set. Love these with the dangles. Love this one of Buzz and the Aliens. Um, I can't even remember where I got that one. <laughs> This is a set I'm dying to complete. I only have Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I need Monday and Thursday. But they're limited edition, and I just love them. These are open edition pens right here. And then up here is another little uh, set. And, um, yeah, these were uh, on backer cards, I think. But, yeah. Love my little aliens page, it's so cute. Okay, this is where I have mostly my Paris. I don't have a lot of Paris for Toy Story. But um, yeah, there's Jesse and Bullseye. There's Woody and Buzz, Buttercup. And then here's my best friends from Paris, it's limited edition. These down here are either from Hong Kong or Shanghai or something like that. 
so okay pretty. this page is a lot of my booster pins and open edition pins over here i think this one was from hot topic for Toy Story 4, and then the bows and the umbrella, mystery pins. And then here I have the booster packs that came from the park. Um, I took them off their backer cards. This is for Toy Story 1. This is for Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4. And then I do have the booster um, block set as well. And then I have just some random open edition pins that are, I love this one, that are just so cute. But yeah, this is kind of like my little booster page. Okay, these are some random pins that I need to get another book for that I can just slip into the pages like this. But um, I'm gonna start over here. Uh, here are two pins from the Animal Kingdoms anniversary i think it was a 20 year anniversary this one actually opens up and it has walt inside that is so cute and then uh someone sent me this from chicago at the disney store i love that and then here are a couple of pins of resorts that i've stayed at animal kingdom lodge Orleans Riverside and Coronado Springs. My and Mitzi's favorite is the Destino uh, Towers. Love that. And then I have a Disney Wish pin from the cruise line. I bought that from somebody. I haven't been on a cruise yet, but I want to go. So love this pin. These two pins are from my state. Here is Belle on the state of South Carolina. And then this is from that recent release of all of the state uh, pins that fit together to make um, the puzzle. And it's got South Carolina and North Carolina together. So you can see Donald on South Carolina and Daisy on North Carolina. So absolutely love that. And then here I just have... Um, some pins from the anniversaries. I was actually at Magic Kingdom this year, the, the year of the 45th anniversary. And I love that red and yellow. And there's Tinkerbell. And then there's the castle, 45. And that just flows into my 50. Uh, I only have two uh, pins from the 50th. And here they are. I love this rose gold one. Oh, it's just so beautiful. You know I had to get that. And that holographic card, so pretty. And then down here, I had the 30th, or the 30 years for Hollywood Studios. My friend Karen picked these up for me when she was there one year, that year. So, just love these. And then last over here, I've got a Tower of Terror pin. Of course, it's in rose gold. And it's the 25th anniversary. Checking in since 1994. So we're going to open it up. It does open. It's a hinge pin. You can see the rose gold there. And there's Mickey looking at the doors. But then it slides open. And there you go. The elevator. So love that pin. And... I love to collect things like this um, <clears throat> where it's a Disneyland and a Disney World version. This is from 2020, um, Happy Easter. And so that is the Disneyland castle inside of a beautiful egg. And then there's the Disney World version. And then I also have the Disneyland version of this pen, which I absolutely love. Just gorgeous. And I love the Disney World version as well. So, so beautiful. And then these pins, I'm going to be honest, I don't know which one is Disney World or Disneyland. That to me looks like Disneyland. But then this one kind of looks like Disneyland too. So, I think this might be Disney World and this Disneyland. Because this one definitely doesn't look like Disney World to me. I might be wrong. But anyway... There's those, but um, just some extra pens I had laying around I wanted to show you. Okay, y'all, now I'm going to start my next book. It's just another K-Set book of Star Wars, and um, I've got some amazing pens in here. Um, I love the DEC 
of pins, the Disney Employee Center of Star Wars, Darth Vader. Look at this gorgeous one of Boba Fett. I mean, I gotta show you this outside of the plastic. It is just beautiful. Look at that. Just stunning. It is just, just beautiful. Love it. But moving on, I've got um, R2-D2. C-3PO is beautiful also. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I love him. Such a beautiful pen. So that's the first page. And then I have two pens here from the One Family Pen Event. I've got this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I got to show you that one out too. But look at that sparkle. This is two pins actually, and they go together like a puzzle in the middle. But love that one. And then I have the uh, one from the same pen event. It, it is the Ewoks. Look at the glitter on those. Just beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love these pens. Okay, these are uh, some pens. This one is from D23, um, celebrating 45 years. And uh, love that one. Here's another one. And this one was from 1977. So they made the limited edition 1977. And so this one is the same kind of thing. This is celebrating Star Tours. It's uh, 35 years and it is limited edition of 1987. And then this one is another celebrating uh, Star Tours and it's 1987. So, love that. Here's another one that I absolutely love. It is from the Disney Employee Center also. And this particular one is from the Empire Strikes Back. And I just love it. Um, I would love to get the rest of these um, to complete the set. But, yeah. Love this one so much. And then I have a pen from a Premiere at Sea. For Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Um, I have two pins from Galaxy's Edge opening. I've got a gold one, which is LE300, and a silver that's LE600. And then this is a 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. Love that. This one is the block from... Um, DC Store Hollywood, and it is a uh, limited edition, and it's for The Force Awakens. Here is Star Wars Galactic Knights 2017. This one is a slider. Uh, Kylo Ren comes out there. It's limited edition. So is this is a limited release. Love these pens here. Mitzi gave me this first one for my birthday, and it is a past holder exclusive from Star Wars Weekend, and I love the vehicle in the background that was uh, Luke Skywalker's. And then here's from this year, just recent, um, uh, The Return of the Jedi, it's 40 years anniversary, that's Boba Fett. Here's Darth Vader. And then here I have uh, Star Wars 45 years, these were on Shop Disney. I just love them. They're limited release. This one is a slider. I love the Obi-Wan series on uh, Disney+. Plus. It's my favorite series that Disney Plus has come out with. And love it. And this is a pen from that. This is just a, um, a droid action figure. And then I have a lot of these little action figures. There's Chewy. And then here are the rest that I have. I'd love to put these on a backpack uh, when I find the right backpack that I want to do that with. Just love it. Then starts my May the 4th Be With You pins. And this one is just kind of behind the plastic and it's kind of, you can't really tell it. But you got the Galaxy and then you've got Leia. And that is from 2018. This is Boba Fett. May the 4th be with you, 2019. Here's another 2019. Uh, here is 2020. Another 2020. Here's the only one I've got from 2021. And then here are the ones from 2022. 
Got all three of those. And then, of course, I have this year's 2023. So, love that. That's Greedo. And then the pens back here are either limited edition or limited release. These are the pens that were released for Galaxy's Edge. These top ones were from Disney World. I love Kylo Ren right there. He looks awesome. And then you have the ones from Disneyland. And I love Chewie on that one. And then down here you have another pen from Galaxy's Edge opening. And these are all from the grand opening of Galaxy's Edge. Mitzi and I was there. Here's a pen from Rise of the Resistance. And then you've got a R2-D2 pen. And then here's the Bad Batch. That was from Shop Disney. Here's some more from Galaxy's Edge. 2019 and these I absolutely love I traded for these these are limited edition of 500 and they're from Disneyland Paris and this is from Patrice Gerard was the artist of these pens and so there's the dice um, you know with Han Solo and then this opens up and you have um, the guys in it love it and then the last one, um, I've got a jumbo also you'll see in that group, but this one spins like you're going into light speed. And I love it. Again, this is Patrice Girard. I hope I'm saying that right, but love this set. The last page in this particular book are uh, some pens that I love. This is, I bought this from uh, Shop Disney in 2017 and I've had it ever since and I love it and these two are from the Disney Rewards in 2016 and then we have some limited edition pens that I picked up when I was at Disney just low and that's all for this book oh wait there's one other pen in here forgot about that this is Magic of Honor in 2019 Star Tours isn't that beautiful? Okay, Love the it. first little thing I want to show you in our next book is a pen that someone sent me years ago, and I've always held on to it, but it is a little fantasy pen, and it has a porg with many ears, and they're in a tea teacup, and it has the Rebel logo on it, and it says, I'm ready to be park bound. So, so cute. Okay, so here are some pens that um, are just open edition. This book is mostly open edition and um, mostly just from the parks or Galaxy's Edge. I love that helmet. I just love that. I actually traded for that. And then, um, yeah, they're just super cute and love having them in. Oh, I love that one too. Love having them in my collection. Now, here's the first uh, page that you'll see, Holiday, and it is my Star Wars. So, I have it here in my book with my Star Wars collection, but these orange backer cards are awesome. You don't see them on those anymore, and you see the vehicles all over the card. I just love it. So, you can see the ones that I have. I think I've collected all of the ones on these orange backer cards. I love that one of Yoda um, doing the force. There's a stormtrooper dressed up like a little Ewok. And then I got BB-8. And then you see these are more recent. I love that glittered Star Wars candy corn. Boba Fett and the carbonate with candy in it. And then here, I vent you for the dark side. So cute. And then down here, I just have uh, a Lucasfilm um, limited edition pen. This one, I have uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin and Yoda in the Force. And it says, the Force surrounds you. I just recently picked this pen up from Star um, Shop Disney, and I have no idea what this is. Um, I just thought it was cute, and it said Star Wars, so I grabbed it. <laughs> Then I have Christmas pins from Star Wars. Porg, 
BBA. I love the AT, at with the scarf. I love the Stormtrooper with the Santa hat. Love this one, the Jawas. Love the um, Millennium Falcon. So cute. I love this one. Vader and the Stormtroopers and Boba Fett caroling. This set of pins here came from Tokyo. My friend Karen picked these up for me when she was over in Tokyo. And love these, love the glitter on these. So pretty. Then I have some name tags here. And then these down here I got from Shop Disney several years ago. And then I have a beautiful Star Tours. And then I have just some open edition from the parks. So cute from the Disney store. Just love them. And I'm turning the page. Love these posters here. You've got one from Tatooine. You've got the Slug and the Millennium Falcon. Here's Planet Hoth. Here you've got Indoor. And this is from Rogue One, I believe. It is a K2SO. And then I have the Sith Lord and the Jedi Knight. This is from Shop Disney. And this one is so cute. It says, it's Han and Leia on the Pirates of the Caribbean. And it says, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> so cute. And then we have some pins that I just think are adorable. Um, Luke, Mickey as Luke Skywalker as a rebel pilot. Then you got Stitch as Palpatine. And then here I've got Mickey and Minnie as Luke and Leia. And then Stitch as Yoda. May the force be with you. These are like my jumbos, my box pins or um, like little sets. So I'll just start out and show you those. Um, I tried to take everything out of the box if I could. Here is a mega jumbo from, well, I won't say mega, but it is a jumbo from a Galaxy's Edge. I just love it. It's the land in the background with the Millennium Falcon. It is beautiful. Of course, most of this is limited edition. This is a lounge fly. Pen. It's supposed to be from the Planet Hoth. Uh, that ATAT -AT is movable. And then here is another from the Planet Indoor with C3PO and the, uh, I call them Ewoks. I don't know what their real names are. <laughs> Here's another Galaxy's Edge landing. Love that. Oh, and here is from 2020, the jumbo that was released for May the 4th Be With You. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, the clone troopers. Oh, I love it. And then here, I've just got a little booster set from Loungefly of different characters there. Here is a box of jumbo pen. Let me see if I can get it open. Just a second. Any other day, that would just fall right open. But it is Join the Empire, and it's a huge stormtrooper. So, love that. I think the limited edition is 2000 And then here's another one from Rogue One. And it's the Millennium Falcon, and it slides open and shows you the inside. Love that. And then I love this one, Defend the Galaxy. And it's just a really awesome pen with the AT-AT on there. Beautiful. And then here's the other Disneyland Paris pen from that Patrice Gerard. Um, and I didn't take it out of the box because it's a flip box. And it comes open like that. And it's just a huge, gorgeous metal um, Millennium Falcon. Isn't that not stunning? Just beautiful. And again, I traded for those other pins that I showed you, and this was the jumbo that I traded for also. And it is limited edition of 500 as well. 
So love that pen. Oh, love it. And then here's another May the Force Be With You, um, or May the Fourth Be With You, uh, from 2019. And I love this one. And it is Darth Vader. And then here's just another booster set from Galaxy's Edge. This is a booster set from Rogue One. I love, like, Stormtrooper helmets. I love them. And then this one is from The Last Jedi. And I actually haven't completed this. This is what the tin looks like. And um, I love this. But I still have one, two, three more to get. But you buy these little medallions. And they come like with a lithograph. And you're supposed to complete this set. So I got three more to get from this. I think all the movies did this. Um, like early on. But um, yeah. I didn't get to finish that. And then I've got the Knights of Ren. It's just a limited release set. And then I have these cute little ornaments, C-3PO, R2-D2, BB-8, but they're really pins. And then I have, for you that, for you that remember the uh, piece of history um, pins that used to come out all the time, well, this is a piece of Star Wars history. And it's uh, from The Force Awakens, and it is, you see the little bubble, and it has Stormtrooper, um, piece of a Stormtrooper's uh, uniform. And then I have just this cute little set of Itty Bitties from Hallmark. They're, they're just cute. I wanted to get them because I just thought they were cute. And the last thing I'm going to show you as far as pins, it's not a lapel pin, but it is a writing pen, and I got this from Shop Disney, oh, several years ago. And I have the uh, C-3PO, and then I have the R2-D2. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love these. So pretty, and I've kept them all these years, so. But anyway, this is the last of my Star Wars pen collection.